Hey guys, I, I wanted to show you a, a quick demonstration of something that I had been working on. It is um, a plugin uh, for using uh, NIM into Unreal Engine 5. Um, it's not by any means uh, complete. It, there is a lot of things that has to be done already, but um, it, it was more like a, a POC that I had been doing for a while to see if uh, something like this is, is possible to, to be done. Um, I think it is, I think it is. Uh, right now, what I have implemented is uh, how reloading. So for example, if I save uh, the file, um, let me overwrite it here. If I save the file, um, it will be pick up um, and real shoot, uh, reroute and recompile. I don't know if you see it because uh, the, the color just changed, it, but uh, it wasn't like much. Let me save it again. So now you can see it. Um, the way it works is um, it generates. Um, Mm, that there is a binding uh, done through to, to Unreal Engine uh, with with a macro that I did in in NIM, which maps uh, a function from the Unreal Reflection System into into NIM. Um, in behind the scenes, it calls uh, another intermediate function um, that I won't be going over now because it's uh, I, I want to keep this uh, short. But right now, that, that is not too much functionality, just uh, the ability to map uh, by um, the Unreal Reflection System uh, functions, and also the ability to debug the code. Uh, so for example, if I do uh, click here, I go to, to the code now on, on Rider, and I set like a uh, interruption point in the NIM file, which is this one. Um, it stops, so you can expect uh, Unreal types. Here, uh, the NIM types doesn't work just yet, uh, but I will be fixing those uh, in the future. Um, yeah, uh, of course, it also works in in Windows, I have it uh, connected here uh, with um, uh, with a connect uh, with a remote connection. So everything that works on Mac works on, on Windows too. So yeah, you can go there. As you can see, that it was already the cube was already red. So I can make it maybe. Oops, sorry lagging a little bit. <clears throat> so yeah, now you, you saw you saw the change. Um, it should be a little bit faster if you are not in, in play mode. But yeah, essentially what this is doing is just, as I told you, uh, calling some C++ behind the scenes um let me let me show real quick because uh this function for example i i it is a manual bind that i did um from c++ here for an uh, test actor that i have uh, on the project is just the function that uses the unreal built-in string to to color functionality uh just for that simple purposes because the only thing that is working right now is our, our strings and, and U objects. I have to bind everything else. So essentially, this is, it's calling this function, right? The only thing that you have to do is to have a U function in C++ that you want to call or actually expose to the real reflection system. It doesn't have to be in C++, but that a function that you want to, to call, you replicate the same signature on NIM um yeah it uh, auto generates the necessary code to to be able to to call that function the idea is not for you to import everything 
by hand, the idea is to hook to the Unreal Reflection system, and since that's already there, to rely on, on, on it, so we can auto-generate the, the API, even if we don't know, for example, if, if it is a third-party um, plugin or, or module that is not directly bind to, to the new plugin. Of course, you can still um, bind manually, Manually bind the C++ to NIM. It's a straightforward process, as you can see here. Uh, but the idea is to avoid manual work as much as possible. We're going to be, of course, binding um, a lot of types and functions that will be required. And there is there is a lot of work that has to be done. Um, but um, I think. Um, it's uh, it's uh, in a good shape for for uh, putting it into into a repo, um, yeah, and sharing it to to the world. Thank you for for your time. Bye.